Okay, we want to show that a general solution of the differential equation ay double prime plus 2by prime plus cy equals 0 where b squared minus ac is greater than 0 can be written as the following y equals e to the minus bx over a times the quantity c1 cosine hyperbolic of x times the square root of b squared minus ac all over a plus c2 sine hyperbolic of x times the square root of b squared minus ac all over a alright so when you first look at this it's kind of terrifying but you know we can get through it so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and find the characteristic equation of this of the original differential equation okay so if we look at the original differential equation right here we can see that the characteristic equation should be a r squared plus 2 b r plus c equals 0 okay we're going to go ahead and solve this um, you can see right away that it's not immediately factorable. You might want to do a plus one and plus one, but you know then you're you're not really sure what to do this the, with these uh, middle coefficients here of b and this leading coefficient of a. So we'll go ahead and uh, uh, run it through the uh, quadratic equation, which will just give us r is equal to negative two b plus minus the square root of 2b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now this is going to simplify, I'm trying to save time in the video, this is going to simplify to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus ac all over a. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and plug this into the uh, the general solution which is going to give us y equals c1 e to the r1x plus c2 e to the r2x okay so that's going to give us that y is equal to c1 times e to the minus b over a plus the square root of b squared minus ac all over a times x plus c2 times e to the minus b over a excuse me minus this is a minus the square root of b squared minus ac all over a times x Okay, so the next step all I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the properties of exponents. Okay, and I'm just going to break this up into two exponents, and that'll give me y is equal to c1 e to the negative bx over a e to the x times the square root of b squared minus ac all over a. That's an exponent. Plus c2 e to the minus bx over a times e to the minus 
x times the square root of b squared minus ac all over a. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a um, just a, a u substitution um, just for the purpose of saving space and time in, in writing out this this ugly looking exponent here. So I'm going to let u equal x times the square root of b squared minus ac all over a. Okay, so now that what I'll have is I'll have y is equal to, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out this, this common term here, which is this e to the minus bx over a. Okay, so what I'll have is y equals e to the minus bx over a times the quantity c1 e to the u plus c2 e to the minus u. Okay, so most of the time you could probably be done here, but as the instructions say, we've got to show that it can be written as this hyperbolic function up here. So as you can see, it looks like we're pretty close. The only difference is um, in place of these e to the u's you have here and e to the minus u, what you have up here is we've got to figure out how to express this e to the u and e to the minus u as cosine hyperbolic of, well, this would be u because this is what I substituted u with, and sine hyperbolic of u. Okay, so what we can do is we can use um, one of the identities that we have of hyperbolic functions, um, and that tells us that um, the cosine hyperbolic of u plus the sine hyperbolic of u is going to be equal to e to the u plus e to the minus u all over 2 plus e to the u minus e to the minus u all over 2. This here is just the, the definition of cosine hyperbolic of u and this is the definition of sine hyperbolic of u. Okay, So I'm going to simplify this or I'm going to add the, these fractions together here and that will give me e to the u plus e to the minus u plus e to the u minus e to the minus u and that's all going to be over 2. Okay, so adding like terms, then we'll get that we'll have two of these e to the u's, and then the e to the minus u's will cancel, and that'll leave me with just over two. The twos will cancel, and that'll leave me with e to the u. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is we, we have this e to the u taken care of, right? So we can have something to substitute in here for this this e to the u, but the other problem we have is this e to the minus u. Well, it just so happens that when you take the cosine hyperbolic of u and you subtract the sine hyperbolic of u, that'll get us what we need. So here we'll have e to the u plus e to the minus u over 2 minus e to the u minus e to the minus u over 2, and that'll give us e to the u plus e to the minus u minus e to the u plus, because this minus times minus gives us plus e to the minus u, and that'll be all over 2. Okay, so that'll give us this, the e to the u terms will cancel, and we'll be left with two of these e to the minus u's, and that'll be all over 2. Two's will cancel, and that'll just leave us with e to the minus u. So now that we've got our e to the u here and our e, excuse me, e to the minus u here and our e to the u there, now we've got something to substitute back into our original equation. So bringing this original equation back, we've got that y is equal to e to the minus bx over a times c1 e to the u plus c2 e to the minus u. Okay. Now remember, this is our goal, this is what we're after. We want C1 cosine hyperbolic of this number and C2 sine hyperbolic of this number. So what we'll get then is we'll just substitute what we just had. So that'll give us that Y is equal to E to the minus BX over A times C1. Now remember, our E to the U was this term here, and that was just cosine hyperbolic of U plus sine hyperbolic of U. 
Okay, so I'm going to substitute that in. So this is cosine hyperbolic of u plus sine hyperbolic of u, okay, plus c2. Now e to the minus u was cosine hyperbolic of u minus sine hyperbolic of u. So I'll substitute that in, and that'll give us uh, cosine hyperbolic of u minus sine hyperbolic of u. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to distribute this out. So y is equal to e to the minus bx over a times c1 cosine hyperbolic of u plus c1 sine hyperbolic of u plus c2 cosine hyperbolic of u minus c2 sine hyperbolic of u. Okay, so I'm just going to combine like terms. I'm going to factor stuff out. So that'll give us y is equal to e to the minus bx over a times the quantity. Now my cosine hyperbolics, I've got a c1 plus a c2. So I'll have c1 plus c2 times cosine hyperbolic of u. And my sines, I've got c1 minus c2. So that'll be plus c1 minus c2 times a sine hyperbolic of u. Okay, so now that I've got those together, I'm going to do another substitution. I'm going to let k1 equal c1 plus c2, and k2 is going to be c1 minus c2. All right. So what I'm, I'm just going to rewrite this using this substitution. So y is going to be equal to e to the minus bx over a times the quantity k1 cosine hyperbolic of u plus k2 sine hyperbolic of u. All right, we're starting to get there. So now all I have to do is bring in my substitution, which if you remember from the previous page, it was that u was equal to x times the square root of b squared minus ac all over a. So I'll just substitute that back in. So y is going to be equal to e to the minus bx over a times the quantity k1 cosine hyperbolic of x times the square root of b squared minus ac. That's a minus all over a plus k2 sine hyperbolic of u again, which is just x times the square root of b squared minus ac all over a. That's an a. Close bracket. Okay. So now you can see that we have actually obtained our end result, which was to show that the general solution of the differential equation a times y double prime plus 2 times by prime plus cy equals 0, where b squared minus ac is greater than 0, can be written as this form. So here's what we got. The only difference is, you know, the c1s, but these are just arbitrary constants. It doesn't matter whether you write c or k. The point is we've shown that that differential equation can be written as a hyperbolic uh, trigonometric expression. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.